Masks are basically pretty simple. However, if you don't know how a mask handles transparency, or translucency, color, or whatever, you could be spending a whole lot of time trying to do something that should only take you a few minutes. So the more you understand about how masks do their magic, the better, you, better off you are and the more productive you're going to be. That's what this tutorial aims to help you out with. Graphical masks have often been compared to stencils. In the case of a stencil, whatever is directly beneath the cutout region is visible and hidden everywhere else. In the case of a graphical mask, transparent regions hide what is directly beneath the mask, while the opaque regions make whatever is directly beneath it visible. In Producer, a mask layer is identified by a small square icon that has a little white circle located in its center, and it's also located to the immediate left of the layer. There's a vertical line that extends uh, to the left of each of the layers that are part of the mask set until you reach the last layer which has a horizontal line extending out to the vertical line. This uh, horizontal line has two small triangles above and below the line and it indicates that you can move, the, uh, move that line up or down to increase or decrease the number of uh, layers within that mask set. ProShow recognizes two types of masks, transparency and grayscale. Both these masks utilize the alpha channel for their opacity and has uh, 256 shades of opacity. And it varies from completely transparent to completely opaque. Now the difference between these two masks is that the transparency mask pays absolutely no attention to the color of the mask, is a method for determining opacity, while this grayscale utilizes color to change its opacity as well. Now each of your three channels, the red, green, and blue, have 256 shades of color for each of those channels. And when all of those color values are zero, the resulting color is black. When all of those color values are one, the resulting color is white. Uh, for grayscale mask, black is uh, representative of completely transparent, and when they're all white, it makes the mask layer completely opaque. So all the colors in between black and white makes the layer translucent. Now, masks can also be inverted. So when a mask is inverted, what was transparent becomes opaque, and what was opaque becomes transparent. I'll discuss each of the mask types and their inverted forms. This is the transparency mask. Figure 1 is the actual mask layer. Notice that it varies from completely opaque to completely transparent. Now, when it's used in a mask set, the result is shown in figure 2. Now figures 3 through 9 show a transparency mask using color. Notice that the uh, variation doesn't change at all. So color doesn't really matter at all in a transparency mask. This is the grayscale mask. Notice in figure 1 that the mask can vary from completely opaque to completely transparent. The result of the mask set is shown in figure 2. If you observe from figures 3 through 10, you'll notice that color plays a major part in determining the opacity of the layer as well. Black is completely transparent, color results in a completely opaque mask, and all the other colors result in a translucent mask. Okay, now I'm going to show you what the effect of each type of mask and its inverted version has upon a masked layer. I'm going to use layer 1 as an uh, ellipse that I've vignetted, and it's going to mask layer 2. In slide options, select the layer settings, right click over the gradient layer, select the use as masking layer from the pop-up menu, next go to layer type and select the transparency mask. Now you'll see that the only part of the image you can see is what's directly beneath the mask. Okay, now I invert the transparency mask. What was transparent is now opaque, and what was opaque is now transparent. So, uh, this is effectively like punching a hole through the mask layer. What's below the mask itself is transparent. Okay, now I'm going to convert to an inverted grayscale mask. 
Because the mask is composed of multiple colors, the mask is going to end up punching a translucent hole into the masked layer below it. The only place where it's going to be completely transparent is where the mask itself is all white. Okay, now I'm going to go to a grayscale mask. Since the mask itself is composed of multiple colors, the result of the mask is going to be translucent. So, only where the mask is completely white are you going to fully see the image that is being masked. Everything else is going to be translucent, so that means you're going to see both the layer that's being masked and what's below that layer. Okay, in the examples to follow, I'm going to use the same setup for both the transparency and the grayscale masks, an example of which you'll see right here. When you see the two different types of masks operating side by side, it'll give you, hopefully, a better idea of what the differences might be. Kind of reduces some of the guesswork. What you see here is that the grayscale and the transparency masks are exactly the same when the mask itself is white. What you see here is that the transparency mask is unaffected by the color. It acts just like you would with the white mask. However, a black mask is basically ineffective because as far as the grayscale is concerned, black is transparent. Here we have a gray mask. You'll notice that the grayscale mask for a gray mask gives you a translucent mask. Transparency unaffected by color. Okay, here we have a multicolor mask. Now you'll notice that the transparency mask is basically unaffected. However, the grayscale mask still has a mask which is, to all intents and purposes, translucent. Here we have a white mask to which 50% opacity has been applied. That means that the alpha channel has been adjusted to 50% opacity. You'll note that the grayscale and the transparency masks look exactly the same. Further, you might notice that the uh, grayscale mask in this particular case looks exactly like the grayscale mask using a gray mask.